Many times in church world, because we're not clear on our values, we just do everything that's good. We do everything that's nice. We do everything that's helpful. We do everything that's kind. But what happens in life if you value everything at the same time? You value nothing. You have finite time. You have finite resources. You have finite attention. Responding to a text is good, not while you're driving. Clearing up slander is good, not when you're rebuilding the city walls of Jerusalem. See, we, we've always mimicked Nehemiah's approach and Nehemiah's philosophy. We're a church that doesn't do everything. Uh, we don't do vacation Bible school. We, we don't have Christian concerts. Uh, we don't have a float in the parade. We don't have daddy-daughter dances. We don't have something going on every single night of the week here now that we have a brand new shiny building. You know why? Because if you value everything, you value nothing. So here's, here's what we do as a church. We pick our one thing. What's the wall we're not coming down from? What's the ladder we're not going to come down from no matter what distracts us or calls us? For us, it's easy. We are here to create a church that attracts and engages the unchurched. We are building the church, a community, a people, people coming together, living in community with one another that attracts and engages. We don't want you to just sit in a row on Sunday. We want your faith in God to grow bigger. For who? People who don't go to church. People who went to church and felt judged right out of it. People who gave up on church. People who had a bad church experience. People who never grew up and it all seems weird to them. That's what we are doing. And we are going to plant our feet and we are going to grab our sledgehammer and we are going to drive that nail. We are not coming down from this wall. This is what we do. And in fact, for most of us, that's the reason why we're here today. And some people say, well, well, well what, what about the Christians? You, you need the disciple. You need to minister. You need to serve them. Are you saying they don't matter? Yep, let's go on. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. Do you know, you know what people who show up at our church who are already Christians tell us after being here a while? They tell us their faith is growing more here. And that surprised me at first. I'm like, oh, that's a cool side effect. Why is that? It's because... They're picking up stones and they're building walls. They're getting involved with something that glorifies God and isn't about me. And it's not even about us. It's about the mission that Jesus gave his church. And, and the more they get involved in that, they tell us the bigger their faith in God is growing. And the more peace they have and the more joy they have, and the more contentment they have in life. Because we're aligning the values of our hearts with the values of God's heart. And however long you've been here, we want you to join us. We want you to climb up on a ladder with us. We want you to grab some stones and start laying them in the wall with us. You're invited to participate. I believe you're here for a reason and we need you. We want you. God positioned you to make a difference in building that wall, but, but we're not coming down off of it. That's our wall. Like Nehemiah, we're just going to keep 